A Pennsylvania police officer who shot an unarmed black teenager has been charged with criminal homicide. East Pittsburgh officer Michael Rosfeld, 30, turned himself into authorities around 6.30 a.m., was arraigned at 7.45 a.m., and is currently free after posting $250,000 bond, his attorney said. Allegheny District Attorney Stephen Zapala plans to hold a press conference at 11 a.m. to release more details on the case against Rosfeld. Scroll down for video Rosfeld, who is white, is charged in the death of 17-year-old Antoine Rose Jr. On June 19, Rose was a passenger in a car pulled over by Rosfeld because police said it matched the description of a car wanted in a shooting in a nearby town. As Rosfeld was taking the driver into custody, Rose and a second passenger fled. A video taken from a nearby house shows them running from the car. Three gunshots can be heard, and the passengers can be seen either falling or crouching as they pass between houses. It is unclear from the video if Rosfeld yelled for them to stop. Rose was shot three times. Authorities said two handguns were retrieved from the car, and District Attorney Stephen Zapala said an empty gun clip was found in Rose's pocket. Lawyers for Rose's family released the following statement on Rosfeld's arraignment. The family views the indictment with guarded optimism. We realize that conviction is a long road ahead, and it will require our continued advocacy on behalf of Antoine. We echo the sentiments that this officer with a history of violence and a history of manipulating evidence to obscure his violence at previous jobs, there should have been safeguards in place to ensure that he wasn't hired in the first place. Although it feels like we are moving in the direction of justice, the kind of evidence that existed at the time of the shooting, this is justice delayed for the family, said Lee Merritt, family attorney for Antoine Rose's family. The Rose family views the filing of criminal homicide charges with guarded optimism. There is a long road ahead to a conviction and proper sentencing which is the only thing we will accept as justice, said Antoine Rose family attorneys Fred and Monty Rabner. Rosfeld has been on administrative leave since the shooting occurred. Share this article Share 171 shares he told WTAE TV last week he could not discuss the shooting but said he was getting a lot of support from law enforcement. He also said he stayed away from watching news reports and was not aware of the bystander video posted to social media. Rosfeld was sworn in as an officer in the East Pittsburgh PD just 90 minutes before the shooting but had been working for the department for approximately three weeks. He had worked as a cop in various other departments in the area since 2011. Rose's mother, Michelle Kenny, told ABC News in an interview over the weekend that Rosfeld murdered my son in cold blood. If he has a son, I pray his heart never has to hurt the way mine does, she said. But I think he should pay for taking my son's life. The case is among several across the country in recent years that have ignited a national debate over race and policing. Kenny, who held a Bible in her lap with a piece of paper and the words my son attached, was joined by her partner Antoine Rose Sr. At one point, he held Kenny as she sobbed into his arms. Antoine Rose Sr. said he saw the video of his son being gunned down before he even realized who the victim was. I never thought that was my son, he said. Kenny told ABC, a cop killed him. The same person that should have protected him, the same person who I taught my son to respect and always have the most respect for, never be disrespectful, murdered my son. She said that her son, who she called my baby, had traveled around the world and taught himself how to ski and play hockey. He dreamed of one day becoming a chemical engineer, she said. I knew Antoine was destined for greatness, she added. Kenny said the shooting was even more tragic because she had always taught her son to have the utmost respect for the law and police. Civil rights attorney E.S. Lee Merritt, who is representing Antoine's family, said he does not see justification for the use of deadly force by the rookie cop against the teen. Merritt said the teen was unarmed and did not pose an immediate threat. There have been large protests over Rose Jr.'s death, including outside Allegheny Courthouse on Thursday.
Nearly 1,100 people turned up decrying police use of force and gun violence as others held signs that read, Justice for Antoine.